Eric Von Aiken is also live at the Kennedy Space Center near the historic countdown clock. How's everything out there, Eric? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we've been watching these pictures, Bridget. In fact, these pictures are the, are the most powerful images we've seen today and certainly since Wednesday, right? That image of Bob and Doug walking out and not being able to touch their family, but having them so close and doing that air hug with their little boys. Again, Doug has a 10-year-old, Bob has a six-year-old, and they've spent a lot of time over the last few years, especially in the recent weeks, trying to explain to them what dad, dads are about to do. Right now, what they're doing is heading to the launch pad, and it's kind of a, a slow roll, you could say. As Matt was saying, it's about eight miles. It takes about 20 minutes or so. But it's, it's really through the Kennedy Space Center. In fact, it's going to go by, that convoy is going to go by where we're standing right now in front of the Vehicle Assembly Building and then head out to the long, now road that heads out to the launch pad, really going by a lot of the people that helped make this happen and, and get us where we are here today, nine years since the shuttle program ended. So they're going to get to the launch pad, walk around it, take that elevator up, and then get into Dragon. They should be at the launch pad in about... 18 minutes from now. For now, we're live at the Kennedy Space Center. Eric Von Eichen getting results through six. All right, thank you, Eric. If you remember what Wednesday looked like along the Space Coast, this is what it looks like right now. This is a live look along A1A. Sky 6 flew over that area just a few moments ago, but it looks like people are back around to packing in as closely as they can get those parking spaces. Since it's a Saturday, we could see it get even more complicated than mm -hmm. it was Wednesday. Let's get you over to get a look at those roads, see how they're holding up. Traffic safety expert, Trooper Steve, has your pinpoint traffic. On a Saturday, we have you guys right here. So this is 528 just west of State Road 407, and it looks exactly how it did the other day. Give me one second here, and we should be up and running. One, good audio, and so if you were just west of State Road 407. This was about an hour before launch. This has been there three hours already and it's already packed there. Remember, do not park along any of our limited access highways. Some changes have already been made to today's kind of travel plan. So your travel advisory westbound 407 between 95 and 528 has been shut down. There will be no westbound travel through there and that's to kind of like relieve the westbound 528 travel. So hopefully today there won't be a whole bunch of three hour waits when it comes to this. So Mike DeForest is over at the Max Brewer Bridge. Mike, how are things looking out there? starting to fill up over here, Steve. Now, uh, uh, my mama didn't raise a dummy, and so we made sure to get underneath the bridge because we have the nice spans up above that keeps us protected from the sun this morning. Unfortunately, possibly some of the rain showers that come, come later today, but I'll tell you, some of these folks started lining up here pretty early this morning to get this spot. I think this is one of the prime viewing spots right across from uh, the Indian River is where the launch pad is. So uh, we've been seeing people from uh, not just uh, locally who wanted to come in and know that they're going to spend their whole day out here and several hours afterwards if the rocket launches or if there's a scrub um, but people just enjoying themselves and like I say not just from locals but uh, we've been seeing people from all over the world including this guy let's take a listen I'm from Italy and I came expressly to see the launch because also in Europe in our uh, TVs and newspapers there is a lot of news about this historical launch so everywhere in the world we know USA is going to be number one in the space. So he was very excited to be here. So are these folks, not just under the bridge, but also up above us. Uh, the city of Titusville is leaving that open to spectators. There was some question about that, but it is open to spectators. We're told it's closed to traffic now, and we expect closer to launch time. More and more people may crowd up there as well. Back to you. I think that's a fair assumption. It was certainly crazy up there on Wednesday. Mike DeForest, thank you so much. Still to come, more live coverage on today's historic rocket launch. Keep it right here. You're watching News 6 Getting Results. We'll be right back.